Hello everyone, as you've already understood from the title, today we'll be making our trunk in the Peugeot 308 sieverts even bigger. There are no particular difficulties here, so let's get going. And to start, what am I up to and why? As far as I know, the 308S trunk was the biggest in its class when the car was released. So how much bigger could it be and more importantly, why? Well look, actually, most people have a spare wheel, a jack, a hook, and some small things under the floor. And that's it. Nothing else fits. Which is a problem for me personally. I'm used to carrying a lot of useful things in the trunk, and I don't like it when they're all just lying around, or even worse, rolling around on the floor. So, I've got an idea. It's not complicated, and it's not very expensive. First, take out everything you don't need from the niche under the trunk. Take out the foam as well. We won't be needing it anymore. Next, we'll need a drill bit of 5 and a tap to cut the threads. And actually, we'll drill several holes in specially designated places. I made the hole and threads for the M6 bolt. Next, we'll be fixing an angle right here with three bolts to prevent it from scratching the body for a better fit and so on. Between the body's corner, I made a plastic gasket using a common canister. We'll fix an equivalent angle on the right. Take another corner, strengthened, wrapped it a bit with fluttering tape in order that the metal sweeps and doesn't clang on bumps. Why fixate it at all? It's pretty clear to provide this structure with rigidity because without it, the normal profile bends even under minimal load. Once installed, it becomes quite sturdy. If anyone hasn't figured out yet what it's going to be, let me show you what I've accomplished at this stage. This bracket is standard but it has two new holes and it's not an accident. In the middle of the trunk on both sides are angles, nothing will be attached to them. Deeper in the trunk, closer to the seats, two more angles are installed. On the right and left, they have a hole too. And this is an intermediary step. From front to back we attach crosswise aluminum profiles. Why these ones specifically? They're sturdy and light and I happen to have them on hand. I fastened all these things with M6 bolts and washers. How rigid is the construction? Well, about this much. I have no doubts about its reliability, as for the strength of the profile itself, this width of approximately a meter doesn't bend at all under a person's weight. How much space did I manage to save, and what fits in the trunk now? Well first off, a donut or even a full size spare tire, I'm positive it will fit here, and on the sides, front and back you can stack everything you need. And while at first glance it doesn't seem like there's much room, if you take a close look, you'll see there's plenty of space for all your small items. A fire extinguisher, first aid kit, anti-theft device, various cables, jumper cables, and a whole bunch of other stuff. There's plenty of room. The only thing for complete satisfaction would be better, of course, to soundproof the floor of the trunk, since without anything, I mean without styrofoam, it sounds like this, and it can sometimes be unpleasant, so I did vibration insulation of the material, the noise M3 is 3 millimeters. I also covered everything with P4V noise insulation. Basically, I saw the result only with vibration insulation, without any noise insulation. In fact, the result is decent and it's enough. Personally, I installed this orange material. This is P4V, more so that all the junk that will lie under the trunk doesn't make any noise, doesn't jingle, doesn't knock and doesn't roll around. After all, the material is soft. In the end, I was completely satisfied with the result in terms of noise and vibration isolation. Listen to it yourself. So 
what did I end up with and how much did all this fun cost me? The total cost of this entire DIY project, including bolts and soundproofing materials, is roughly around $40. In terms of time, I spread the work over multiple sessions, and all in all it took roughly two days of effort. I am extremely pleased with the outcome, thrilled like an elephant. Some might say it's a botched up job, so why bother when it was fine the way it was? Well, that's a personal preference. Each person decides for themselves, but I personally am more than just satisfied. The result is absolutely fantastic. I don't rue a single second spent making a second trunk for myself if I may express myself this way. So here's a little story which I hope you might find useful. Agree, disagree, have questions, write in the comments. I make an effort to reply to everyone. And that's all for today. Thank you everyone for watching and see you later.